Sean Brown for CSB's IGL Weekly here with the IGL Commissioner Adam Turk. Turk, how are you? I'm good, thank you, Sean. How are you doing? Doing well. Listen, there have been some issues the last several weeks in the IGL. Can you talk a little bit about the obstacles that forced the decision to shorten the season and cut to the playoffs? Well, you know, as far as shortening the season, that, that was pretty much determined by the egregious actions of the UPenn Arena. Uh, when they put us, when they put the Yellow Jackets basically out of business, as well as my team, the Pro Stars, by the actions that they created, it made it very hard for us to secure a proper venue. Um, I'm sure many people are aware of uh, Joe Krause's personal situation. That made it hard for him to operate, to be able to fix the problems that needed fixing. So we did the best we could. You know, after a few weeks off, we wanted to assemble playoffs. We wanted to have a champion, so we went forward and did the best we could with what was on our plate. What would you say to the IGL fans, the owners, coaches, and players that would say a lot of meaningful regular season games were cut short and not played? I agree. I agree. Nobody's madder about than I am. Uh, they're going to say that, and I'm going to look at them and say, hey, you're right. Um, this isn't the way we wanted it. Uh, obviously, that's one reason that we were putting all six teams in the playoffs when it was originally supposed to be four was because of the shortened season. Listen, nobody wants a shortened season. I remember the NFL strike in 1982. I hated the world just for them doing it. Then they let replacement players play, really? You know, no fan wants to see a shortened season. People have the right to be upset, but again, we did the best we can do with it. And uh, all I could do was play a hand with the cards I was dealt. Talk to me about the Steelers. They were undefeated during the regular season, and they did not even play in the playoffs in your league. How big of a disappointment is that, and what happened? It's probably about as big of a disappointment as the Bulldogs not being in the championship in 13. It's along the same lines, an unbeaten team. Um, when we got to the playoffs, due to everything that had happened, we had come up with a structure. The uh, Steelers, along with a couple of other teams, were already in violation of league policies. Uh, when we got to the point of the playoffs, we decided to go forward. The teams agreed to handle a certain amount of, responsi of financial responsibility for the facility. Uh, the Steelers knew this for a couple of weeks. They didn't handle it, which is a violation of the league contract. Therefore, when I spoke to Coach Rachich, he had to pull his team out, and that was that. Fair enough. Uh, year one of the Turk regime in the IGL, uh, in the IGL as commissioner, you know, let's face it, there were some issues. The train wreck issues, there, train wreck. There were some obstacles. Um, perhaps it wasn't your fault, but it was your problem. What did you learn from this experience, and what is the status of the IGL, the state of the league, moving forward? Well, uh, the IGL's been around a few years. I, I really am not in a position to think about next year yet. This has been a, a really strenuous year. Um, there were things I could have done better. There were things that the business partners involved could have done better, meaning the teams. Uh, they had certain things they didn't handle that they were supposed to. Uh, there were certain things that management, upper management could have handled better, that upper management didn't handle better. Uh, my status, I don't know. It's up in the air. I'm not sure. Will you, will you be back next year? I'm not sure. I can't say yes or no at this time. And how about the Pro Stars? We only saw them once. Uh, any regrets to not seeing that team play more this year biggest, like we were supposed to see them? Biggest disappointment in my 2016. The thing that kicks me in the gut the most was telling my players that we don't have any more games, was telling the players that went through five weeks, twice a week of trying out, killing themselves to get on my team, that they couldn't play. Don't get me wrong. I feel bad for me and my coaching staff, um, but the players, it's just not fair. It's not fair to them. And uh, if you ask me what my biggest disappointments of the season were, the shortened IGL season, followed by one game for the Pro Stars. It's egregious, it's terrible, and nobody feels worse about them. Now, on a positive note, strong finish for your league in the championship game. Great product. Great game. And certainly a great venue, so that was one positive for sure. Yeah, I definitely want to uh, mention Total Turf in this interview. Uh, their, own, their owner, manager, Andy, very good guy, helped us set up the field. Uh, you know, we had good markings. It's a nice environment. It's a good-sized roof. Uh, very happy with Total Turf in the last game, as a matter of fact, to where I wish it's something that would have maybe come to our attention a little bit earlier. Um, uh, the game itself was a very exciting game. It was a fun game. I had to officiate, which was gave me new respect for officials all over again. You know, as you guys know, I'm always yelling at them. I'm always ripping them apart. And here I am being one, you know, throwing flags in big spots and everything. But overall, uh, I would say that the last game was probably the best moment for the IGL this year. And congratulations to New Jersey Nightmare for winning the championship. Way to finish strong. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for your time. 
Thank you for CSB. At this time, I would like to thank Tom DeFranco. I would like to thank Brian the Fishman Fish. I would like to thank all the camera people, everybody that was involved in this project, that believed in me. And um, if I do something, you know I'm going to pick up the phone. There you have it, straight from the IGL Commissioner, Adam Turkle. And for CSB's IGL Weekly, I'm Sean Brown.